Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a treatment that will give your hair strength, moisture, and help to stimulate hair growth. Now, in addition to that, this will also help to slow hair loss and reverse thinning or damaged hair. So if you're interested, you definitely want to keep on watching. It only contains a few ingredients, which are very, very easy to find. Um, so yeah, definitely stick around. Now before we get into it, guys, thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber. I really appreciate your support. If you're new here, please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family. Now let's hop right into the video. So the first ingredient, as you can see here, will be two carrots. Um, now this is very easy to find guys, you probably have carrots somewhere in your fridge or you can easily find it at your grocery store. Carrots are rich in beta carotene which helps to keep our hair soft and shiny. It also contains vitamin A and E which help to stimulate hair growth and make our roots much stronger. So you want to go ahead and give your carrots a nice peel and then we're just going to wash it and then cut it into smaller pieces and pop it in the pan in which we will be boiling our carrots. Now after that's all nice and cut up, add some water and pop it on a stove and allow it to boil for about a few minutes essentially. So we're looking at about maybe three to four minutes or until your carrots are nice and soft. Now once that's all done, so take it off the stove, allow it to cool down and then we're just going to go ahead and remove the carrots from the water and pop it in a little um, a bowl and then we're just going to go ahead with our next ingredient. Now our next ingredient will be some fresh aloe vera leaf. Now if you don't have this guys, it's okay to use aloe vera gel from the store or to completely skip it um, if you don't have it. But if you do, feel free to use it. So I'm using just a small piece of it here. So give it a wash and then cut it up and then remove the flesh of the aloe vera and just pop in the same bowl in which you have your carrots. And then we're just gonna go ahead and give this a good blend. Now after that's all blended, we're just going to go ahead and strain it. Um, so I'm using a wig cap to do this but feel free to use any other thing that you may have available. So just pop the mixture on there and just give it a nice squeeze until you have you know, the juice of the aloe vera and the carrots out and then get rid of the pulp. Now our next ingredient guys will be some coconut milk. Now I suggest that the coconut milk that you use is the creamy one, so the full fat one. Um, you do get some that are reduced fat and they're a bit more liquid in sort of um, consistency. So I'll suggest that you use a full fat one which are much creamier just like you can see here. So you don't need the water from the coconut milk, you just need the um, actual creamy coconut milk. So just get your spoon and then scoop out the coconut milk and then get rid of the water. Now coconut milk is high in lauric acid and this essentially helps to stimulate with uh, stimulate hair growth. It's also high in protein which gives our hair again strength which prevents it from breaking and prevents hair loss in general. It's quite high in vitamin C, E, B1, B3, B5 and B6. It helps to slow hair loss, it restores dry hair and scalp and it also gets rid of downdraft. So it's super amazing to have in your um, conditional or sort of treatment. So essentially after you've got rid of you know the water, just go ahead and give it a nice mix. And this is what you end up with. So you can see it's quite nice and watery in consistency. 
um, so that's because we've just essentially mixed this together so I'm adding a bit of oil here so this is one of my DIY oils but feel free to use olive oil or rapeseed oil or any other oil that you may have available give it a nice stir and again this is the final consistency so after you let this sit in the fridge guys for about a couple of hours it thickens even more just like you can see here so you can see it's really nice and thick and super super nice and easy to apply to the hair while it's in this state um, because it will be absolutely less messy but obviously if you just don't want to apply you know something cold to your hair um, you may just need to take it out of the fridge allow it to cool down a bit which would then allow it to go back to its um, kind of like liquid form um, but this is what it looks like essentially after it sits in the fridge um, for a few hours now you can go ahead and store this in the fridge as well up to about a week um, and it's still in pretty good condition or you can freeze it and then defrost it and use it next time um, and it's still pretty good um, so in this part of the video I'm just going to share with you basically how you can use it and essentially how often you should be using it to help in um, promoting hair growth and also minimizing hair loss now you want to start by sectioning your hair guys it just makes it so much easier to work with and also helps to minimize breakage or, or dangles or hair loss in general anyways um, so my hair is kind of like in this kind of big twist that I put in to shampoo so I do not condition my hair after shampooing because I knew I was going to do this treatment which would be sort of like a deep conditioning treatment for me um, so yeah that's why I didn't bother uh, conditioning my hair um, after shampooing but then you can also use this treatment throughout the month so let's say if you wash your hair every four weeks but you deep condition every week or every other week you can certainly use it without necessarily shampooing your hair beforehand um, but it, like I said it also works really well as a deep conditioning treatment after you shampooed your hair so essentially you just want to undo one section of your hair or section it into smaller sections and then just work this through um, from your scalp all the way to your roots you do not need to wet the hair before applying because it is super moisturizing on its own already and the hair really just soaks it up really nicely so after you've applied it throughout just go ahead and twist the hair do a little banty knot so that it doesn't dry out as you work on the next section of your hair and then repeat until the rest of your hair is completely done Now I know some of you guys will be wondering how often you should be doing this treatment. I would say once every other week is such a good time to um, do protein treatments. Um, but again, you have to listen to your hair guys because you know it's all about how your hair is. You may not necessarily need any sort of protein treatment that regularly and you have to be really careful when it comes to protein because you don't want to get protein overload which can you know cause more breakage which is essentially what you're trying to avoid right so it's super important that you don't overload your hair with protein now what i found quite useful when it comes to i mean with my hair knowing that it needs sort of protein treatment essentially is when it's flat or limp or stringy that's definitely sort of the, the, a sign that your hair needs you know a protein treatment um, compared to when it's just dry and brittle it probably just needs a bit of moisture really so I would say you know you need to know how to differentiate the two and then essentially give it what it needs because you know you don't want to do the opposite and then end up breaking your hair um, so yeah i hope that this video is sort of helpful to you guys in some way and if you are finding it helpful don't forget to um, give the video a thumbs up i would really really appreciate it so essentially i'm just going to go ahead and do this throughout my hair until it's completely done and then i'm just going to put a heat cap on 
and then let it sit for about one to two hours and just go ahead and rinse my hair off with just warm water you do not need to shampoo your hair after doing this because you're just going to reverse you know all the hard work that you've done or that the, your deep conditioning treatment has done or anything like that so don't shampoo your hair guys just rinse it off with warm water and that should be enough and then you can just carry on with your regular routine which will be you know sealing the moisture in your hair and styling pretty much so yeah i hope that you guys are enjoying or sort of have enjoyed the video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up share comment um i read all the comments and also subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already i would really appreciate it and i'll catch you in my next video bye